In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite passing plays from the Strong Close Formation in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now if you're brand new to the channel, I want to let you know that I actually have a full Strong Close scheme for my text message members and you may be asking, what does a text message member mean? Um, it simply means somebody that's texted me uh, from YouTube. So if you're sitting at home watching this video and you haven't texted in, all you gotta do is pull out your cell phone, shoot me a text, my number is 812. 216-3644. It's also in the top left hand corner of the description and you can get a free one hour long strong close scheme. You can also get the rest of the videos from my text message membership which include breakdowns from popular formations like Shotgun Bunch from the Carolina Panthers playbook, Shotgun Y off Trips Pats from the New England Patriots playbook, and Shot or Big Nickel over G, one of the most popular defenses in Madden 21. All right, guys, I wanted to break this down. So this is Strong Close. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button as well at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. It shows that only 40% of the people that actually watch my videos are actually subscribed to me. So uh, let's try to get that number up a little bit. So if you current consistently watch videos of mine or you enjoy the channel, enjoy the content, it's completely free to subscribe. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. If you don't enjoy the content, you can always unsubscribe at a later time. Now, Strong Close is one of my favorite little formations in the entire game. And what I want to show you is one of my favorite plays um, just to basically, honestly, make consistent gains against any defense. And the play is FL Drive. Now, this can be found in a lot of Strong Closes. In my opinion, a couple of the best Strong Closes in the game are the 49ers Strong Close, the Vegas uh, Raiders Strong Close, and then what I'm running here is the, is the uh, West Coast uh, strong close. The reason I like the West Coast strong close, honestly, is because it's in the West Coast playbook. Um, the West Coast has a lot of really, really good formations. We actually, in our text message membership, released a two-hour video on the far tight slot because it's one of the best quick passing formations in the entire game. So FL Drive, in my opinion, one of the things that will be very helpful for you running this scheme um, is if you have a tight end apprentice. If you have a tight end apprentice, it makes this offense very, very effective in my opinion, and it makes it very, very difficult to stop. So I'm gonna sub in a quick safety here, uh, and we're gonna kind of come out in the meta nickel 55 wide uh, style defense. You're gonna get a lot of this if you're playing under center. So I always like to block my running back, and wherever they shift their line, so let's say they shift their line to the left, I'm gonna shift my pass protection to the left, right? Flick it to the left right there. And all we're going to do with this is we're going to put the tight end on a post, we're going to put Fournette on a swing route, and then we're going to put Goblin on a slant. And basically what we're doing here is we're literally just going to do a simple high-low read. Now, I get a lot of Mabel coverage. It's one of the more popular uh, coverages that I'm going to get throughout the course of a game. And so with having these three post routes and crossing routes here, you're going to be able to hit this low ball slant right as it comes across formation, as you can see right there. Very simple read right across the formation. You can hit that. Now, let's say that they're not playing Mabel coverage, right? Maybe they're sending a blitz. Maybe they're just kind of playing a little bit conservative, and they don't want to hit you with hard flats right off the gate. Well, if they're not playing hard flats, you can snap and throw this little route out here to, the four, to your halfback, and you're going to get a lot of positive yardage. Um, and you're basically going to force them to have to play hard flats. The kicker is, let's say that they play hard flats, well now this is where this motion slant really does shine even more so. You're going to see that if there's no purple zone over the top there, we can hit that for a nice little rack catch in behind the hard flat coverage. Now the next thing that we're going to be able to do is, let's say that they play man coverage on you, right? And maybe they're like most people, they like to take their safeties and they like to put them in purple zones um, to try to stop some of the crossing routes and some of the other things that you are doing from this formation. Well, in that situation, we're going to want to look up top. And what you'll see here is against man coverage, this little post route is really, really good. As you can see there, it's a one-play touchdown against cover zero man coverage. If they play cover zero over the top, then they're going to have a lot of issues. What that means is they're going to have to play some type of cover one man, which oftentimes means they're going to basically play cover one man with something like this. They're going to have a purple out there to stop the slant, and they're going to have a deep blue right there to stop the uh, post route. This is why the tight end on a, pro, a post route and having a tight end apprentice is so very, very um, effective. Because what you're going to see here is if they run man coverage, you're still going to be able to beat man coverage to your tight end. And now they don't have a zone to drop over in that vicinity of the field to be able to stop that. The same is true from like a cover three perspective. If they play... If they play uh, cover three hard flats on the outside, um, even if they play Mabel coverage, you're going to find that this post route to the tight end is going to do a nice job of crossing the formation. And as you can see there, 
gets behind the hard flat coverage, gets behind pretty much every coverage except for if they run a Mabel coverage. Now, what's going to happen is, so you're going to get a lot of people that are going to run some type of Mabel coverage like this. So they're going to have their yellows right there. They're going to be usering over the middle of the field, trying to take everything away from you. And this is where I really, really fall in love with the strong close with its ability just to work over a lot of defenses through the air. Um, as you can see right here, if I wait, 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 and everything breaks down, you actually get some pretty good playmakers that you can you can kind of, you know, basically playmaker, route bounce, that kind of thing. But the other thing that I wanted you to notice is let's say that I go to Mike Blitz 3, right, and I'm running that same coverage with two yellows, two, uh, and then two flats on either side. Probably one of the best coverage defenses in the game, in my opinion, especially from a cover three style defense. Um, what you're going to notice is basically these routes are going to come open at different points. You see there that that post route is going to get underneath the cloud flat coverage that is uh, potentially going to give it some trouble. So you can throw that post route fairly, um, you know, fairly clean against that coverage. The other thing that you can do is you're going to be able to have your motion over slant. You're just going to have to hit it at the right point. So again, if they go to the tight end, then you're going to hit this low ball motion slant right underneath it. Quick read, easy read. And in my opinion, one of the most difficult reads to user is this motion slant because especially from strong close, because what happens is he's going to come over really, really quick and he's going to just get underneath a lot of stuff. As you can see right there, even a three wreck sometimes has trouble guarding this little play. So all in all, I think this is one of the best plays in the game. And really quickly, I didn't cover a ton of stuff on man, um, just because basically every the three major routes uh, from this play are going to beat man-to-man -man really well. This route to the fullback doesn't do too bad. As you can see there, he does get out to the flat really, really quickly because he's on a swing route. I really like swing routes because of how quickly they get to the flat. So if you see something like that, you know, I would highly recommend uh, hitting your fullback. Now one thing I do want to touch on just really, really quickly, I'm going to flip this cover two man so that the outside linebacker is guarding the fullback. And I just want you to kind of watch what happens uh, from this play when you do this motion over to Godwin. I just kind of want you to be aware of this so that you're kind of aware of how to proceed. You see that he's going to just jump right out there and take that away. So that's where you got to be a little bit careful. If they man up a defensive lineman or they man up somebody on the flat right there, then you just have to be careful to not throw that and to move to your next progression. So that's the strong close. The motion slant, the post route, and the deep post route are all really good reads against man coverage. Um, we're going to show you some other things that you can do from the strong close throughout today. If you want the full strong close scheme, go ahead and just shoot me a text. My number is 812-216-3644. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe, and if you have any Madden questions whatsoever, shoot me a text message. Thanks, guys.